In this section, I am going to talk about coordinate representation. Suppose that we have a basis for a vector space V. Since S is a basis, then it spans V, which means that every element in V can be written as a linear combination of these vectors. We just know that we can write every element as a linear combination of the vectors V1 up to Vn. However, if we know that it is a basis, then we can write V as a linear combination in exactly one way. There is no other way we can write it. Just to give an illustration, suppose that U is any vector in R3. U can be written as a linear combination of these vectors because these vectors form a basis for R3. Let us show that there is always a unique solution for this vector equation. What we want to do is to find coefficients A1, A2, and A3 so that this vector equation will be true. This vector equation will result in the following augmented matrix. Notice that the columns here are just the column vectors in our basis. If we let this be our A, our coefficient matrix, and this is our B, then this is simply AX equals B, where X in this case is the column vector A1, A2, A3. You can verify here that A is invertible. And therefore, if A is invertible, this vector equation will always have a solution. And what is that solution? X is equal to A inverse B. So our X, which is equal to A1, A2, A3, is going to be equal to A inverse, which in this case is given by this matrix. Our B is U1, U2, U3. And therefore, this is equal to This is saying that whatever is our u1, u2, and u3 here, we can always find the constants a1, a2, and a3. And of course, these constants are going to be unique for every vector. We are now ready to discuss coordinate representation. Suppose that we have a basis. Take note that this is an ordered basis. Although we use a pair of bases to denote that it is a set, however, this is different from the ordered basis, let's say V2, V1, up to Vn, because the order matters, so be careful of that. Since B is a basis for V, for any vector V in V, we can write it as a linear combination, and we just learned that we can write it in exactly one way, meaning to say these constants over here are going to be unique for every choice of V. These scalars A1, A2, up to An are called the coordinates of V relative to the ordered basis B. And the coordinate vector of V relative to the basis B is the column matrix whose components are the coordinates of V. In other words, we are just writing it as a column matrix wherein we write down all the coefficients appearing here. That would be the coordinate vector of V with respect to B. For example, let us find the coordinate vector of this V, 2, negative 1, 3, with respect to this standard basis. First thing that we have to do is to write 2, negative 1, 3 as a linear combination of the standard basis. And of course, what would the constants be? This would be 2 negative 1, 3. That's the nice thing about the standard basis. It will be very easy to see what these constants are. Hence, the coordinate vector of 2, negative 1, 3 is just equal to itself. 2, negative 1, 3. Next, 
I still have the same vector v, but this time around, I have a different basis. Again, we are looking for constants a1, a2, and a3 such that we can write 2, negative 1, 3 as a linear combination of these vectors. This vector equation will yield the following augmented matrix. The columns will just be the column vectors 1, 0, 0, 2, 2, 0, 3, 3, and this column matrix here. Notice that our coefficient matrix A has non-zero determinant. In particular, the determinant of A is equal to 6, correct? Because this is just an upper triangular matrix. So therefore, A is invertible. Therefore, AX equals B has a unique solution. Here, our X is A1, A2, A3. This is our B. And the solution would be X equals A inverse B. Verify that A inverse is going to be equal to this matrix. Multiplied to B, which is 2, negative 1, 3. This will yield 3, negative 2, 1. Our X here is A1, A2, A3. And this is exactly our... VB. Next, let us find the coordinate vector of this polynomial in P2 relative to our standard basis. We want to write 4 minus 3x plus x squared as a linear combination of the vectors 1, x, and x squared. Obviously, these constants are going to be 4, minus 3, and positive 1. Therefore, the coordinate vector of P with respect to this basis B is equal to 4, negative 3, 1. What about if we write the coordinate vector of the same polynomial relative to this basis? Again, we want to find scalars a1, a2, and a3 such that we can write our polynomial as a linear combination of these three vectors. This vector equation will yield the following augmented matrix. I will just record the coefficients of 1, x, and x squared. For the first column, it will just record the coefficients of the first vector, 1 plus x. So that's 1, 1, 0. For the second column, record the coefficients of 1 plus x squared. So that's 1, 0, 1. And lastly, for the third vector, record the coefficients of x plus x squared, so it's 0, 1, 1. And then here, the coefficients of 4 minus 3x plus x squared, which is 4, negative 3, 1. Again, this coefficient matrix is my matrix A. This is my B, and the determinant of A is not equal to 0. So therefore, Ax equals B has a unique solution, and it's given by X is equal to A inverse B. Verify that A inverse will be given by this matrix. This is our A inverse, and our B is 4, negative 3, 1. This is equal to 0, 4, negative 3. This is my A1, A2, A3, and that is exactly our coordinate vector of P with respect to this basis. Next, let us find the coordinate vector of this 2 by 2 matrix with respect to the standard basis. If we write this matrix as a linear combination of these four vectors, what will be the scalars? It will be 6, 2, 5, 3. And therefore, the coordinate vector of A relative to the ordered basis B is just equal to itself, 6, 2, 5, 3. Next, we want to find the coordinate vector of the same matrix A, but this time around, we have a different basis. We are looking for the scalars. 
such that this vector equation will be true. What would be the resulting augmented matrix for this one? If you can still remember from our previous video lectures, what will happen is that the columns will just be appended to the first column. So for the first vector, I will have 1, 1, 0, 0. I appended this to this column. For the second column, I will have 1, 0, and then you append 1, 0. For the third one, you have 1, 0, and then 0, 1. And lastly, I have 0, 1, 0, 0. And this one would be 6, 5, 2, 3. Again, this is my A and A is invertible because this forms a basis. Hence, our system AX equals B has a unique solution and it's given by A inverse B. What is our X here again? Our X is A1, A2, A3. Verify that A inverse is going to be this matrix and our B is, of course, 6, 5, 2, 3. Multiplying these two matrices, we will get 1, 2, 3, 4. So therefore, coordinate vector of A with respect to this basis is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4.